So while I'm being controversial, what was that or what is that? It looks like it could be a bull ring. Maybe it's an amphitheater now. Now they have shows in. It actually even looks like it could be a car park, but I don't think it's a car park. But you can see it's round. And over there, I'm thinking, it's in the sunlight, I'm gonna cross over. Could be a bus station or a train station. Valencia Nord, it's the train station I think I came. There's the traffic coming. Not much. Well, not much for a city. I'm obviously in the area where cars are definitely allowed a lot more now. So yeah, I've crossed over out of the sun. This is uh, Station Del Nord. This is the train station I came into when I came from uh, Alicante. Estacio del Nord. I think there are two train stations in Valencia. Valencia. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? And this really is is nice. If not nicer, because it's got all the old mosaics, got the old doors, got the mosaics. Then look up the big eagle with the clock. video keeps getting stuck. You can't tell me that's not beautiful. Let's go inside, have a look at the station next to the ball ring, I think. <clears throat> Lots of old timbers. Look at the ceiling. That type of ceiling was the flat. The first night, the flat I stayed in was like that. Kind of, is it convex or concave? Look at the old ticket offices, wooden, beautiful. So I came here, I got off a train, I walked straight out because I didn't, uh, wasn't interested in looking at any of this. But this shows when I leave. Get the camera zoomed out so you can hear me. When I leave, Valencia to go to Alicante, which is where I fly home from on the 1st of July. Or the 2nd of July, I'm not sure. <laughs> July, bloody February. Uh, I'll be able to walk here if need be. Get the train to Alicante. Probably can even get to the airport. Get straight to Alicante airport, I imagine. This is lovely. What era is this? It is a bit like the Portuguese stuff. I don't know, I'd love to know what era they call that. So we're still in the foyer of the train station and it's it's incredible but inside here is I don't know whether this maybe this is a little place of prayer
amazing, huh? So I didn't talk in there because I saw a thing saying silencio, silencio, silent. Definitely says silent in Spanish. Uh, I think this train station needs a video on its own. It's not difficult to do a 10 or 15 minute video in here. The roof, look at the ceiling. Absolutely incredible. Is it the most beautiful train station in the world? Maybe not. But you know what it is? It's quite, it's quite, Quite irresistible. Did you like that? Remember Didcot Parkway? I'm spinning around, go out of my way. <laughs> it's a bit nicer than Didcot Parkway. So I went in to try and find out whether I could get a train directly to Alicante Airport. Or if I have to go to Alicante and then go to the airport separately. Uh, it was fully understandable but still very jobs worth in that you have to get that ticket, which I got the ticket when I bought you, then you wait your turn to buy a ticket. But I didn't really want to buy a ticket, I just wanted the information about uh, could I go directly to the airport when I leave, which is still over two weeks away. And in the end, uh, a lady who spoke English explained to me I have to get to Alicante and then get to the airport. But it's fully understandable, so I don't really mean jobs worth. There's a system there and you buy a ticket. But if you're, you just, when you don't want to buy your ticket and you're just asking for information, uh, that wasn't quite so easy to do. But I achieved it and I'm not moaning. I'm telling you, if you come and you want to talk to anybody, you press the button to get a ticket, they give you a ticket number and it pings up and you have to wait your turn and then you can talk to someone. Even though there was nobody else waiting in the queue, they still wouldn't talk without the ticket. Keep your chin up, get rid of your three or four chins. Uh, I believe she said the, I said it's maybe the most beautiful train station I've ever seen. And she said, uh, I'm trying to get a nice picture of that without my chins. She said 1917, I, I believe, it was built. Very, very nice. And everywhere is very nice around here. So that's the train station done. It's cool. What's it called? That's your Del Nord. It's going to come up here in a minute. Above the flags. There. One last thing now, I'm back in the sun as well at the station finish off my station tour next to what I do think would have been a ring originally. Uh, you come out through the gates, through the main gates, you come into that square where I walk down from, so I walk down from there. The market and everything is there, even though it's closed today. And what do you have on your doorstep here? You have the metro. So I haven't even been on the metro yet. And I guess it's something that I do need to try. Maybe. But I didn't try the Metro, I didn't try the Underground much in London either, did I? But there you go. Down you go. We'll stay up. And just enjoy a very, very beautiful city. And look, all the cars gone again. Here's a few. I can see the side of the station and I can see into what I think is now just an amphitheatre. 
but I feel sure it would have been originally a, a bull ring. There's all seats in there, you can see. And there's the bull. Oh, bless him. I do believe they do more um, shows now without hurting the ball. Some places. You know, displays, showing off stuff. I guess it's still teasing the ball. Uh, well, I have to say, if that was still going on, I would probably go and see it. Just just to say I've been to see it. And I'm gonna finish at this train station, but I just thought, look how long it goes down the back there. It goes on forever. So, I'm gonna go and get lost, because I'm gonna walk a different way home. Maybe make another video for another day because the train station takes up a lot. So au revoir to the train station. Adios. Here is the guy, Al Valenciano Manolo Montiliv. 1992, not so long ago really. Well, that. 1992, maybe he was killed. He was a famous bullfighter. A bird flew on his head now. Interesting. You can just see the ball ring there. And then you've got just a little bit more basic here. Although I did have one of those. That's what I had the other day, just a little plain. Although know, that's probably bread actually, not even a crust. I don't know. So all the local delivery people go out and it's called Clovo. Yeah, maybe. Clovo. Not delivery. And you've got JD Sports closed. Oh, that's interesting. Shops are closed on a Friday. Anyone know why that is? Traffic lights just changed as I was walking. And I'm going this way. Got to go through this way, otherwise I'm going to, although I'm planning to get lost to walk home, I don't want to get too lost and try and keep my bearings. Bye-bye, boring. Hello. Maybe that's that lovely little street I saw with the orange trees in the shade. 